Just give him glory, give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Cause God's gonna get the glory out of this. I don't care what you're going through, just give him glory, give him glory. Bills may be due. Glory, give him. God's gonna get it, cause God's gonna get the glory out of this. Come on, put your hands together this morning. Just give him glory, give him glory, give him glory, give him glory, cause God's gonna get the glory. Out of this, sing it with me, church. Just give him glory, give him, give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Cause God's gonna get the glory out of this. Put your hands together and sing it. Just give him glory. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. God's gonna get the glory out of this. Come on, saints. Just give him glory, give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. God's gonna get the glory out of this. Give him, just give him, give him, give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Cause God's gonna get the glory out of this. Come on, saints, just give him glory. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. God's gonna get the glory out of this. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy lift your wonderful people up before you on this morning. Oh God, you said we must count it all joy when we fall into divers temptations of various kind. For the trying of our faith worketh patience and allow patience to have its perfect work in us, that we may be complete, lacking nothing. Lord, your word says, Bless is the man when he is tried and endures temptation. For the man who endures will receive the crown of life. We thank you this morning strengthen your people encourage your people raise them up this morning work in their life give them understanding from the word of God give them knowledge this morning sharpen their discernment let your words come alive in their hearts and in their minds renew their minds as the word come forth increase their faith and it, you said faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God not our will but let your will be done this morning for the glory of God in Jesus name we pray somebody say amen oh blessed be the name of Jesus oh come on somebody lift your hands to heaven and give him praise my God my God my God as we continue in our series keep on standing this morning we are talking about with God's help you can do this my god have you ever felt unqualified have you ever felt like there is no way i would be able to accomplish and do what god's asking me to do and i want to say this that's not a bad place to be you don't want to be full of yourself and full of pride be aware of anyone who say oh no i got this i i can you can't handle nothing without god's help don't even fool yourself and it's okay 
to admit and come to God and say, God, there ain't no way I can handle this thing without you. You know, when Joshua came to the walls of Jericho, it, it shook him because they just crossed the Jordan River. And as soon as they crossed the Jordan River, all of a sudden now they got to face the walls of Jericho. They, they didn't have the equipment. They didn't have the manpower to knock down Jericho wall. Jesus showed up to, Jesus showed up to Joshua with a sword drawn and gave Joshua the strategy that led to victory. Circle the wall once every day and on the seventh day, do it seven times and shout. My God, he said the walls will come tumbling down. He had his, uh, Jesus took his sword and chopped the walls down. <laughs> My God. So it's okay to come to a place and you got to be willing to admit it. I can't do it, but with God's help, Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. My God. Now, I want to take you into the word of God here. In the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verses 1 through 9, you know we go through this chapter several times a year because I, Joshua, chapter 1, is one of those chapters that minister to me every time, I, every time I talk about it or share it. Amen? Or read it in person. Verse 1, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Joshua was the servant of Moses. The word minister right there means he was Moses' armor bearer. God said to Joshua, Moses, my servant is dead. Not Moses, my big shot. Not Moses, my big time prophet. No. God called him a servant. He said, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people unto the land, which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. Now, here it is, God himself, God is commissioning Joshua. Now, God had already had Moses to bring Joshua in the front of the leaders in the front of the whole congregation and lay hands on Joshua to signify that when God called me home, Joshua will be the new leader of Israel. And that time came that God, that Moses died, God took him to heaven, and now God is telling Joshua, now I'm calling you to take the place of Moses. No doubt, Joshua was overwhelmed. Moses had some big shoes to fill I'm sure Joshua felt unqualified because he was there when God opened the Red Sea for Moses and drowned Pharaoh and his army in it. He was there when God rained down birds and manna from heaven and fed them. Are you hearing me? He was there when Moses spoke to the rock and water came out of it. He was there another time when Moses struck the rock and water came out of it. When the people got sick, he was there when Moses made a brazen serpent. And when the people look at the brazen serpent, they were completely healed of whatever sickness and disease they had. He saw the great miracles that God had worked through the life of Moses. And no doubt Joshua was overwhelmed with the task that was before him. And it's okay to be overwhelmed with the task. That just means you are the right person for the job. Be aware of anyone who say, oh, I got this. I, you, you got what? You ain't got nothing. You can't, you can't even breathe without God. Come on here, somebody. Who are you fooling? The Bible says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, and he will exalt you in due season. You know, when I was a young Christian boy, I thought I could just do anything. You understand? I was just full of myself. Catherine Coleman had a statement. She would make this statement. She said, she said, all of self and none of thee, some of self and some of thee none of self and all of thee. You see, the, 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 the more you die to yourself, the more God can work through your life being unhindered by your flesh. You've got to die to yourself. Are you hearing me? Joshua knew he couldn't handle this without God. And then God begins to mark out the territory where Joshua would operate. And he said, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall not any man 
be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Now you think God is just saying this to Joshua to say it? No. God is speaking to Joshua to encourage him. He's telling Joshua, don't worry. I'm with you. I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. And notice in verse 4, when he tells him from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even under the great river, the river Euphrates, the land of the Hittites, and under the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. He's literally marking out the territory that he ordained for Joshua to operate in. Don't fool yourself. You're not going to just be successful any way you think you can. You will only be successful in the territory that God mark out for you to conquer and for you to walk in. As long as Joshua stayed in the area, in the territory that God had marked out for him, it had boundaries. You got to understand your boundaries in God's will. God's will have boundaries for your life. This is why you tried in one place and you fail. You tried in another place and you fail. You tried in another place and you felt like a misfit. And all of a sudden, you come to a certain place and a territory where everything's working for you, where you begin to thrive, you begin to grow spiritually, you begin to see the hand of God, you begin to understand things you never understood before. You have just found the will of God, my friend. Are you listening to me? And you got to understand God's will for everybody has boundaries. Lift your hands to heaven and say, I'm going to keep on standing. I'm going to keep on on standing the task ahead of me may be great you know and this is how you know when god called you to do something you feel unqualified you feel like there's no way i can do it it causes you to pray and cry out to god even more uh, who am i talking to this morning talk back to me comment below this video Let, if this if the holy ghost is using this message to talk to you i want you, i want to read your comments come on somebody i'm telling you me and pastor amy are at that place right now god has a new task in the front of us and we got you know and i just feel so unqualified you, you just feel unqualified you know in and of yourself, you ain't got the wisdom to do what God's asking you to do. But you know he has the wisdom. He is your wisdom. He is your direction. He is your intelligence. He is your knowledge. You can't do it, but you know with the help of God, you can pull the thing off. You know it only could be God. That's why the Bible says, with God, all things are possible, not apart from him. Now, I want to just, I want to, I want to dabble in this a little more here. Thanks. I want to dabble in this a little more. Notice what he tells him. He said, he said in verse, in verse five, there shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong, Joshua, and of a good courage. Lord, have mercy. What a coach. What a coaching from God. My God, be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. And then he says in verse 7, only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. And then he really breaks down the strategy for victory in verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. Don't let it come out of your mouth. Keep talking about it. Keep talking about it. He says, but thou shalt meditate Thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You got to set time aside to meditate on the word, to muse on the word, to contemplate it, to study it, to read it over and over and over and over again. Get it in your spirit. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. But Josh, you're going to have to meditate in the word of God day and night that you may observe, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. Because as you meditate on the Word of God, the Holy Ghost enlightens you. The Holy Ghost gives you revelation knowledge. He gives you wisdom. He gives you understanding. Notice what he says. For then, for then thou will make thy way prosperous, and then you will have 
good success. You will have good success. You're not a failure. You are going to keep on standing. But to do it, Josh, and to be the successful leader that Moses was, you're going to have to meditate in the Word of God. You're going to have to spend time on your knees seeking the face of God. I'm talking to somebody. Listen to verse 9. He says, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Why is he telling Joshua, be not afraid? Because because fear hits you. When God put a new task in the front of you, fear hits you, doubt hits you, all kinds of things hit you. Amen? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. Don't be discouraged, Josh. For the Lord thy God is with you wherever you go. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I will be with you even unto the end. Every battle that you will have to face, just like I was with Moses, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to give you the victory. Joshua is in here. Moses is in here. But you and I are here. And he's saying to us through the word this morning, as I was with Moses, as I was with Joshua, I'm right there with you. The task ahead of you is great. The task ahead of you, it's absolutely overwhelming. That's how you know it's God asking you to do it. You don't have to know how to. You don't have to wear it all. You don't have the resources to pull it off by yourself. But we know who got it. God's got everything we need. I dare someone to say, he has got it all. He got it all, my God. You move mountains. Glory to God. You move mountains. You cross walks to fall. And with your power, perform miracles. There is nothing. That's impossible And we're standing here Cause you move mountains You move mountains You cause walls to fall With your power Perform miracles There is nothing That's impossible we're standing. Listen. Stay right there. Somebody under the sound of my voice. You need to surrender your life to Jesus this morning. You can't do this without him. Don't even try. I tried and I failed miserably. But January the 3rd, 1993, God answered my mom a prayer at 2.30 in the morning. I surrendered my life to Jesus. And I feel the Holy Spirit is calling some of you to surrender. Some of you are not, you're not saved, you're not a Christian, but you've been drawn to this broadcast. It's time to come to Jesus. I surrender all. It's time to come to him without any further hesitation. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in desperate need of forgiveness. Dear Lord, I'm asking you to forgive me of all of my sins. I'm asking you to wash me in your blood. Save my soul. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on Calvary Cross. They buried you in a borrowed tomb. But on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at God's right hand. And soon and very soon, you are coming again. Lord, from this day, I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil to serve the true and living God and his son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord for saving my soul, for giving me of my sins, and writing my name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Friend, if you prayed that prayer and meant it with all of your heart, your sins have been forgiven. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Welcome. Let me and Pastor Amy be the first to welcome you into the family of God. Welcome into God's kingdom. I want you to type below this video 
I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. That's one of the greatest statements we can find under our videos. We thank God for the healing of, of sick bodies. We thank God for performing miracles. But the greatest miracle of them all is when a sinner comes to Jesus and receive that, receive his forgiveness. What a mighty God. And I surrender all and all to thee, my blessed Savior. And I surrender. I surrender, sing it. And I surrender all and I surrender all and all to thee my blessed Savior and I surrender listen we want to give the rest of you I give myself away. We want to give the rest of you an opportunity to continue to support the preaching of the gospel. We can't do this without you. It takes all of us pulling together to make this happen. Continue to support the work of God. Never take God's work for granted. Never ever do it. Never become ungrateful towards the things of God. To support the preaching of the gospel, you can visit us online right now at seanpender.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash sean pinder ministries you can also give through the ministry zell account the ministry zell email address is info at sean you can also give through the ministry cash app account that address is the dollar sign sean pinder ministries you can also give through the ministry Venmo account. That address is at Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries. P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. And we ask all of you, our wonderful partners and friends, continue to share these videos with your friends and family members. Share it with at least five people. Share it through WhatsApp. Text the link out to somebody. Send it through Facebook, Facebook Messenger, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, however you can do it. Help us reach over a million people a month with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And never forget, we love you. We appreciate you. We look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow as we continue our series. Keep on standing. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.